Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, and tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel dashboards. Okay, I uh, saw a post from a user in a forum that said uh, they are tracking the number of schedule changes, but they'd like to show the reasons on a chart. Wanted to know what was the best approach uh, to plot the number of schedule changes in a, or over a period of time. So here is the data that the user presented. You see their schedules, there's changes to those schedules, percent change, and then uh, they wanted these reason codes in there as well. And as you can see, uh, the changes, so this number four here is actually going to total this four over here. Uh, so you can see it's going to total all of the changes by reason code over on the right. So presented this to uh, the users on my blog and wanted to see what kind of charts could you come up with. I had my own chart that I thought was the best, but I wanted to see what everybody else would have an idea of doing. Uh, so let's take a look at some of those submissions. So one of the charts uh, that was presented was uh, this user took um, the previous schedule, so actually subtracted some information of uh, the change to get the previous schedule. And then as you can see here, they have charted the previous schedule and then the change on top of it in a stacked column chart. I love this idea. So they've got a table down here so you can see the actual values of the changes um, by each reason code uh, and the totals so that you can see in this chart um, the previous one and then the amount of change and then where those changes are. So I thought that was an awesome submission. Uh, next we had a uh, user go ahead and take the information and kind of throw it into a different table format here. Then they did two types of different charts. The first one they did was they did an in-cell bar chart by reason code so that you can see each one of those reason codes. I thought that was pretty awesome. Then they did a second chart uh, as you can see over here and this is by percent change as a bar chart so they've got each one of these here now uh, the only thing I would say is this one doesn't exactly have the reason but I really love the bar chart by percent of change uh, really kind of shows you uh, by week where those changes are so uh, so I thought that was a great submission um, here's some of uh, the charts that I was able to come up with as well um, Certainly uh, there is a stacked column chart that you can do, but it's very difficult to read. Line charts you can kind of uh, be a little difficult to read. Column, not the best in my opinion. Uh, and then you've got a uh, line chart, just your standard line chart. But uh, my favorite of the ones I thought about doing was a stacked area chart. So, uh, and I first what I did is I went and sorted these by the amounts. Um, so the largest amount being on the bottom and the smallest amount on these being at the top. So you can see by week, uh, and then you've got your different colors as to which one is uh, the most abundant by week. And so that was my submission. Uh, then I was blown away by a uh, dashboard uh, that Peter Rafe had went ahead and uh, presented in here as well. And, and this is just an amazing dashboard that he's got here. Um, so this is just in an Excel chart. You see he's got uh, uh, that ops here is the biggest one in all time total changes. There is this embedded pie chart in this dashboard that as you scroll through and change using the scroll bar, uh, the pie chart changes as well. Um, and it's uh, got a dynamic title in here, so that's just awesome. Then you've got uh, down here, uh, you can do a comparison like of ops versus, say, quality. Uh, you can see um, a versus chart over time. Thought that was awesome. And then he's got a total number of schedules and total number of changes that you can uh, dynamically add one or both of these uh, to the actual chart over here in this column chart by week. So Peter did just an amazing job. He even included a button here that you can click on it and see the data or you can go back to the dashboard and see the dashboard. All right, I had such great submissions. What I'd love for you to do is go over to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com, look at today's uh, blog post, and at the very bottom of the blog post, there is a poll, and I'd love to find out which one of the charts and uh, solutions that you see here. You can download all of the sample files. They're free. 
uh, and let me know in the poll which one of the chart solutions you think are the best. So please go over to Excel-Templates.com and uh, give us your opinion. Thank you so much and uh, look for the next post coming soon.